Hey everybody, it is day nine, I think, of the IAE. This will be the last day I'm covering because after this, it'll just, there won't be any new ships. I'm not sure what the event halls are going to do the next four days, but I'll be working. I got to go back to work tomorrow, so I want to get this one done. So this is going to be pretty quick, hopefully. So, and as you can see, I got my RSI swag and I must be under a light. Okay, I thought about getting a Constellation Phoenix, but they sold out by two or three minutes afterwards, so screw it. <laughs> um, it's the bots. It's the goddamn bots. That wasn't players, it was bots. They need to uh, do something about the bots on the store, on the limited sales, but this is the uh, Constellation Andromeda. <clears throat> this is one I had for a long time. This is the ship I replaced with the Corsair, believe it or not. This is actually bigger than the Corsair. Very good all-rounder ship, just not good at turn fighting. Other than that, pretty awesome. Has the snub fighter in the back. Right there, you've seen the inside of my Andromeda a hundred times. This is probably the Taurus, or is it the Quilla? Quilla, Quilia. This one ha is the exploration variant. People say they like the uh, windshield better on this one. It's not significantly different from the Andromeda, I don't believe, other than... I can't remember what the difference is. One doesn't have turrets. It might be the Taurus. This has the uh, snub fighter as well. This is the Mantis. I don't even need to look at the um, placard. This is the ship that pirates use and the police use way too often to pull people out of quantum. It's an interdiction ship. It uh, has a um, quantum uh, dampener and a uh, interdictor where you can pull people out and keep them from warping away. This is the Scorpius. This is the X-Wing. It's a very good... It's ranked as a heavy fighter, but it's really more of a medium fighter. But it does have heavier, heavy fighter guns, so maybe that's why they call it that. This is a very good ship, uh, especially with someone in the turret. You can fit size up fixed guns on the wings and have a match the turret and then you have like six size four freaking repeaters it's ins it's it, it, it's insane with more with uh, two people this is the phoenix i would get in it this is the one that sold out too quick ah the door for the uh turrets are open for some reason it is functionally the same as the andromeda it just carries less missiles but it has a Archimedes in the back instead of a Merlin. Probably can't tell by looking at it. Yeah. And it's really fancy inside. It's got the unfunctional hot tub, all the windows. It's the uh, luxury version. It's got a really neat interior. And this is the Taurus. This is the... Uh, cargo variants that does not have a snub fighter. I'm afraid to go in it, but I'm just curious. Yeah, looks the same. Might be a little longer. And the Phoenix, uh, the cargo bay is a lot lower. There's a door over there on one of the sides over here that goes up to the um, lounge area there's like a hidden passageway in the floor so it's technically two decks if you count the, the cargo bay okay um is there another mantis what is this what the hell was that on the uh, floor that i thought that was a mantis out there we're gonna have to double check that but these are the auroras they're starter ships they're not bad but i don't like them CL, Light Freight, have so little interest in these, I don't even know what, yeah, ES Pathfinder, 
You have the LX, which is the another Pathfinder, which makes I don't whatever. Okay. You have a uh, MR, which is the light fighter, which is the, probably the best one, because if flown by a good pilot, it can do some damage. And then we have. The LN, which is the li another light fighter. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I'd go with one of the light fighters if if, if I was going to get one of those. But I'm not. And they will fit in a, the Aur Auroras will fit in a Carrick as well. Yep, they just have two mantises. What the? F what the? F uh, whatever. Okay, this makes sense. These are the Ursa Rovers. I believe they're both Ursa Rovers, just regular Ursa Rovers, unless they came out with a... Yes. These ships come with the Carrick. They're very good uh, vehicles. You got seats you can flip up. Put, put a bunch of packages in. Two people in the front, four in the back if you want. It's got a turret that both the driver and the passenger can use on top. It's a very good ship. It's one of the reasons I like to use my Carrick to run derelict sites. I'll get in one of these and be reasonably safe and get to blow people away. Uh, this One of these will fit in the back of a Corsair. It'll also fit in, I think, all of the Andromedas. I'm not 100% on the uh, Phoenix, but it'll fit in the rest for sure. They also fit in the back of a Freelancer Max. Probably one of the handiest vehicles in the game right now. What do we got here? This is the uh, Apollo Triage. Kinda hoping these would be... Oh, that's still white box. Ugh. Which means the uh, Medivac is probably going to be over here. No. Medivac's gonna be the third one. This is the Polaris, which is a modular ship. It's not going to be out anytime soon. Costs less than a Carrick right now. This is the Galaxy, or I might be thinking. No, I'm thinking of the Galaxy. <laughs> but neither will be out anytime soon. All very large ships. Go figure that all the large ships, except for the uh, Medivac. I'm thinking of selling my 400i because I don't really need it anymore. It's only good for like hauling racing vehicles and uh, trading it in for a Apollo Medivac. It's not going to be out anytime soon, but we'll get a uh, Cutlass Red as a loaner until it's built. And then I'll be able to do a little bit of medical stuff. Although I have thought about getting another uh, Scorpius. I have, don't have my Scorpius anymore, although I don't really need it either. <laughs> but this is RSI day. Nothing really notable unless you're into constellations. <laughs> I'd be, gl be glad to be done doing this. This was fun starting out and then it turned into a job. And I gotta go back to work tomorrow, so we're gonna bust this one out. However, on Wednesday, which is the last day, I'm going to check everything out uh, and probably make one more video on Wednesday, which is the uh, event finale, right? But the next few days are going to be the best in show, and I got to work those days. So, Till then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you when I see you.